Today I'm going to show you how to use a drum pad like this with Hydrogen, the drum program that you can get on Windows or Linux or whatever, and how to use it, how to change the sounds and all that fun stuff. So here we go. So the first thing you'll want to do in Linux is open Jack Audio Connection Kit. Um, this is, if you look and type in Jack, QJack Control, that's what you're opening. So you want to open QJack Control. I've got this started already, uh, but when you open this up, you will need to go to Start, and then you will need to go to Connect. And so right now, I don't have a USB device in, let me go ahead and use this USB cable, plug it in until you see, uh, there you go, USB device has shown up here. So you'll drag it to hydrogen, boom. So now you've got the USB device is hooked up to hydrogen here. That's what we want. Uh, that's the only thing we need here. The other thing you'll want to do is uh, you can't really mute this Paxess drum pad, so I just use the cord it comes with, and I plug it into phones. Boom, it's muted now. So now all the sounds are coming through hydrogen. That is what I want. Okay, so I want to show you a couple things you'll need to do in hydrogen to get this to work. So for first thing you'll do is input mode. If it is set to instrument, you'll want to set it to drum kit. And let me really quick show you the difference between that. Now I have to switch the recording to go from my mic to this drum pad so you can hear it. So I'm going to switch it here and you won't hear me talk anymore. You're welcome. Okay, back on the mic. So you could see when it's set to instrument, what it does is it just selects one instrument and your whole drum pad is basically that one instrument with the different tones or whatever. Sometimes you'll want that, but generally for a drum pad, you just wanna set it on drum kit so it works as a drum kit. The other thing you need to do is you will go to tools and preferences and you need to go to MIDI system and then ignore note off and what this is it's the sensitivity to the pad whether or not it's a long or short press um, hydrogen can actually change how that affects the sound let me demonstrate that for you let's go ahead and unselect this press ok switch back over to the drum pad Okay, so with the ignore note off, you can see that when that's not checked, if you do a long tap, then it cuts the note off. If you do a short tap, then it's the full length of the note. I find for this pad in particular, maybe it's different for other pads, uh, it's really hard to control with sticks or with your fingers. So I just turn that off. And the last thing I want to show you in Hydrogen is how to change the drum kit itself. So by default, when you go into Hydrogen, this should be on Instrument. Go ahead and go to Sound Library. You'll probably have a few libraries already installed. If not, you can install some. It's pretty easy to do in Hydrogen. Um, but basically, you just select the Sound Library you want, right click, and go Load. I'll just demonstrate a few of these so you can see what it sounds like and how easy it is to change. Change the input.
Okay, so you can see it's really easy to change the drum kit that you want. And this is really nice if you have a drum pad so you can get better sounds from the drum pad than what comes pre-built in. Uh, something of note about the delay. Um, you, you probably can't see it very well on the video, but there is a bit of delay. There's a few factors for this. I find that depending on what computer you use, I use my wife's computer and the delay was much more significant than on my computer. So basically the faster computer you have, the shorter the delay will be, but it will be there, just something to be aware of. The last thing I wanna show you how to do in Hydrogen is how to switch which pad does which sound. So basically uh, changing the instruments for each pad. To do that, you want to view the mixer. Okay, so we've got the mixer here. I'm gonna go ahead, put it here. And then when you hit the pad, so I can see that this is the snare jazz. Um, so you got the tom. What do we wanna change? So we got pedal hi-hat, I like that here. When you hit the pad, you can see visually which, which instrument it is. It's, snare jazz so if I look here snare jazz so if I want the stick or the kick or whatever to be this one I just switch the instrument and move it to where that is and it will switch so let me change the audio so you can hear how that goes So that's it, that's how to use hydrogen with the drum pad. It's really easy to use once you have it set up, but it took me a while to figure all this stuff out. So I hope this helped you some. And if you liked the video, please feel free to subscribe and like this video. Have a drum-tastic day. That doesn't make sense. I was trying to make a pun on the word drum and I just combined it with the word fantastic and said drumtastic. Sounds kind of dumb, but uh, can't go back and change what I said, so it's out there. I apologize you had to hear that. I'm done. Let's stop recording everything. Okay.